Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about the early season play of the New York Knicks, positives to negatives, and what makes them so different from last year's New York Knicks team. If you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about the New York Knicks. Before we go ahead and talk about the New York Knicks this year, I want to talk about what made the New York Knicks good last year. Uh, and that was a strong defensive unit. Alfred Payton, Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, Merlin's Noel, Todd Gibson. A lot of solid defensive players. That has not been the case so far this year throughout their starting lineup. Their offenses look good. Quite good, in fact. I really like what they have on offense. It's a much better offense last year than it was, or this year than it was last year. They are currently a top five offense by offensive rating in the NBA, and they were nowhere near that last year. Their three point shooting is much better between RJ Barrett, uh, add in Evan Fournier, and Kemba Walker, both who have been solid for a majority of the season. But defensively, is not anywhere near the same level. The Knicks were one of the top defensive teams in the league last year. We all know Tom Thibodeau-led teams are typically good defensively. That's what Tom Thibodeau likes to have. Uh, but the Knicks are a bottom five defensive rating team at this point in time in the season. And that's a problem. Uh, that has been the difference between them being a team that you look at and say, yeah, this is a playoff team. Or you look at and say, yeah, this might not be a playoff team because they just can't get enough stops. Now, specifically, when we're referring to this team being bad on the defensive end, it is especially apparent in their starting lineup. Uh, their team as a whole has not been great defensively, uh, but their bench has been at least decent defensively. But their starting lineup has been extremely poor. Uh, Stat Muse on Twitter, who, who is a fairly interesting account to follow on Twitter if you guys are interested, uh, tweets out some per pretty interesting stats fairly regularly. Uh, he tweeted out last night, trying to find the tweet here now as we're talking, but essentially to the point, uh, the New York Knicks starting lineup is the worst defensive rating five-man lineup in NBA history. Not this season, not in general this season or throughout Knicks history, NBA history. NBA history. They are the worst team defensively. At starting five, Kemba Fournier, Barrett, Randall, Robinson. They've played the most minutes together out of any Knicks rotation this season. They are negative 78 in those minutes, the worst by any five-man lineup. Remember the Bulls teams back in the day with Felicio and Campaign that started? Yeah, that, that five-man lineup is better defensively so far this year than that five-man group. Now, I'm not saying that that five-man group should be like some elite defensive unit, uh, but between Randall, Barrett, and Mitchell Robinson, they should be better than the worst defensive unit in NBA history. So sure, part of it is personnel. Kemba Walker is not a great defender by any stretch, and Evan Fournier is not a great defender either, although I think he's a fine one. Point being is they need to put in more effort on the defensive end because you know, I trust Tom Thibodeau as a coach for him to be coaching them well defensively, but they're not playing up to the standard they need to. And so as much as I like what the Knicks have offensively right now, I think they have much better spacing this year. Their bench has good depth, good energy, good scoring between Derrick Rose and Alex Burks and Emmanuel Quickly. That will be Toppin, Erlens Noel. It's a good group, and they have two good rim protectors in Erlens Noel and Mitchell Robinson. Throw that alongside having enough good enough perimeter defenders between RJ, who's been a much better defender this year, uh, Julius Randle, who should be a good defender. Uh, he has the capability to do so. Evan Fournier has the capability to be at least an average perimeter defender. This team needs to step it up on the defensive end if they want to compete and get themselves into the playoffs. They have completely flipped the script of what made them good last year, becoming a team last year that was one of the top defensive teams in the league in just middle of the road offensively, now being one of the better offensive teams in the league, but being very bad on the defensive end. They need to pick it up on the defensive end because if they do, they have a team that is better built to make a deep run in the playoffs this year because they have multiple offensive options on any given night 
and it doesn't always have to be Julius Randle. And they have a good bench again as well. That has a lot of good scoring opportunities. We saw Finnis look better in his second year in the league. But they need to pick it up on the defensive end if they want to have a chance of pushing forward this year. And so that is my concern with this Knicks team and something they need to put together and work on moving forward. That is my thoughts on the New York Knicks at this point in time in the season. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section on the New York Knicks at this point in time in the season. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.